And relationships that form within the sports world are special. That's why the word family is used a lot. But within that world are even more tight-knit communities, such as in wrestling. Over the last couple of months, the wrestling family across the state and in Iowa are showing up for one of their own during a time when he and his family need it most. Coming into his junior year of high school, Wesley Salto set a couple of goals. Make the starting lineup for the football team and make it to the state wrestling tournament. But everything changed for him and his family around Christmas. He just had a, a lump on the side of his neck, so we just took him in for a regular checkup, not thinking anything. And I think that was a Monday after Christmas holiday. And then January 7th, they called and told us. At just 17 years old, Wesley was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. You know, why, why, why us? Why him? The emotions are it's just unbelievable what you feel. And until you can get an answer of how we're going to attack this, it kind of made it feel a little bit better. But it's like, okay, you don't know what road is he going to take? What's, what's going to happen? Right away, it was kind of overwhelming. You don't really expect something like that to happen to you. But I think after a while, you kind of learn that that's what it is and what you're going to have to deal with for however long. As the news of Wesley's diagnosis spread, support poured in from all over, particularly the wrestling community. It's, it's humbling that knowing that people from all across Minnesota and northern Iowa, the kids that he wrestled with when he was five years old, they still stay in touch and now they're reaching out, text messages, Facebook messages, it's just overwhelming. Just words just can't express how big this wrestling family is. The support from everyone helps a lot with that too, knowing that people are going to be behind you while you're fighting whatever it is that you have to. In the end, it doesn't matter where someone lives or what school they compete for. The wrestling family knows no bounds. We compete on the mat, but yet uh, when, we, when we're off the mat, it is, it's one big family that the wrestling community is. And it, like I said, it goes far beyond the school district communities. Really cool to see all these wrestlers from different schools come together and support us, just like we would support them if they had somebody on the wrestling team who was suffering from some kind of sickness. And it's a two-way street. While the community shows up for Wesley and his family, he continues to do the same for his team. Even with his diagnosis and the pandemic, Wesley tries to attend practices and meets whenever he can, which is inspiring his teammates in more ways than one. He shows up and it gives the guys a little more things to fight for. At the meets, we just want to win for him, wrestle for him, get wins in his name. Just like the shirt says, nothing is stopping Wesley. He's Salto Strong. He's not taking this laying down. He's a wrestler. He's a fighter. I'm going to take this thing on and it's not going to beat me. I'm going to have to fight for all of it on good days and bad that there's always going to be a fight for the day ahead of me and wrestling's helped me because that's what I've learned to do, the mentality that we have to fight for everything. Wes's aunt spearheaded a t-shirt fundraiser for him and his family. She tells me as of now over 700 shirts have been ordered and of that number between 300 and 400 are just in the wrestling community alone. Eight different teams have bought the shirts to show their support.